now. Let's dive into the L-Lama models, which stand for Large Language Model Meta AI, developed by Meta. These models are part of the Transformer family, designed to tackle a wide range of natural language processing tasks efficiently and effectively. Let's explore it in four parts. The Llama architecture and key features. How does the key value cache optimization work in El Llama? How does El Llama handle input sequences of varying lengths? How does grouped query attention affect KV cache efficiency? Now I explain the architecture and key features step by step. The first, Llama architecture. At the core, El Llama follows the standard decoder-only transformer architecture. Let's break down the key components. 1. Self-attention. This mechanism enables each token in the sequence to pay attention to all other tokens. It's essential for understanding relationships between words, especially in long text sequences. This is what makes transformers so effective for NLP tasks. El Llama uses a modified version of multi-head attention, called Grouped Multi-Query Attention, GQA. Instead of having each attention head with its own set of keys and values, GQA groups the queries and shares a single set of keys and values among the group. This balances speed and quality, making it more efficient than traditional multi-head attention. 2. Feed-forward networks. After self-attention, the model uses feed-forward networks to apply non-linear transformations to each token's representation, helping it learn more complex features. In the feed-forward layers, Llama uses the SWIGLU activation function instead of the standard RealU. SWIGLU, introduced in the paper GLU Variance Improved Transformer, has shown better performance in terms of learning efficiency and model accuracy. 3. Layer Normalization To ensure stable training and improve the model's ability to generalize, layer normalization is applied to the outputs of both the self-attention and feed-forward layers. For Llama normalization, Llama employs RMS norm, root mean square normalization. This is applied before the sublayers of the transformer rather than after, which helps stabilize training and improves model performance. 4. Residual connections. These connections around both the self attention and feed forward layers help prevent problems like vanishing gradients and improve the model's learning efficiency. 5. Positional Encoding Llama uses Rotary Positional Embeddings, ROP, which is a modification of the traditional sinusoidal positional encoding. This helps the model better capture the relative positions of tokens, improving its performance on tasks requiring long-range dependencies. The second, Key Optimizations Llama includes several optimizations to enhance performance and efficiency. 1. KV Cache during inference, Llama employs a key value, KV cache. Instead of recalculating the key and value vectors for every token, Llama only caches the key and value vectors, updating only the query at each step. This reduces redundant calculations and speeds up the generation process. 2. Scaling and efficiency. Compared to models like GPT-3, Llama is designed to be more efficient at various scales. Meta uses optimization techniques like smaller batch sizes during training to ensure that models can be trained effectively, even on less powerful hardware. 3. Sparse Attention Some versions of Llama utilize sparse attention methods, which reduce the computational burden of attending to every token in a long sequence. This helps the model scale better while keeping efficiency intact. 4. Optimize Training Llama has been trained using high-performance techniques like mixed precision training, gradient checkpointing, and model parallelism, making the process faster and more memory efficient. 5. Fine-tuning Llama introduced models specifically fine-tuned for chat-based interactions, using human annotated responses to guide the model, followed by rejection sampling and proximal policy optimization, PPO, for further refinement. In summary, the Llama architecture builds upon the classic transformer model, but incorporates key modifications to improve both performance and efficiency. From grouped multi-query attention, GQA, to rotary positional embeddings, ROPE, each change is aimed at making Llama more powerful and scalable. 
Now let's dive into some of the key optimizations behind the LAMA models, which are designed to be efficient while maintaining strong performance across a wide variety of NLP tasks. The first, KV cache. The KV cache plays a vital role in autoregressive decoding, which is how LAMA generates text, one token at a time. Every time the model generates a new token, it needs to perform calculations based on the previous tokens. The KV cache helps by storing and reusing key and value tensors from previous steps, so the model doesn't need to redo the same work for every token generation. This saves a lot of computational power and time. Here's a breakdown of the key components. 1. Storage. The KV cache acts like a memory bank, storing key value pairs from the self-attention layers of the model. These pairs are calculated for each token as the model processes them. 2. Reuse. Instead of recalculating the key and value vectors for all tokens every time a new token is generated, the model simply retrieves the pre-computed ones from the cache. This greatly speeds up the process. 3. Updating. For each new token generated, only the key and value vectors for that token are calculated and added to the cache. The rest of the previous token's vectors are simply pulled from the cache. To understand how much memory this takes, you can calculate the total cache size using this formula. For example, if we have a LAMA 7B model with a batch size of 1 and a sequence length of 4096 tokens, the KV cache would require around 2 gigabytes of memory. Then, let's discuss how the KV cache optimizes inference. Begin iteration. When the model starts generating tokens, it computes key and value vectors for all the input tokens and stores them in the cache. Then, subsequent iterations for each new token. The model computes key and value vectors only for the new token. The vectors for the previous tokens are retrieved from the cache. The new and cached vectors are combined for the attention calculation. After, cache update. The newly computed key and value vectors are added to the cache for future use. The second, grouped multi-query attention, GQA. This technique reduces the size of the KV cache by allowing multiple query heads to share key and value vectors. This helps save memory and speeds up computation. The third, rotary positional embeddings, ROPE. ROPE works alongside the KV cache to manage positional information more efficiently. This avoids the need for separate positional encodings and helps improve the overall performance of the model. And ROPE provides a more flexible and dynamic way of representing token positions, which makes it easier for the model to capture relationships between distant tokens in a sequence. ROPE adapts the model's attention based on the relative positions of tokens, making it better suited for tasks like language modeling, where understanding long-range dependencies is crucial. In summary, the KV cache is a powerful optimization that significantly improves the speed and efficiency of text generation in LAMA models. By storing and reusing key and value vectors from previous tokens, LAMA reduces redundant calculations, making inference much faster, especially for long sequences. While the cache does consume some memory, its advantages in terms of reduced computation and faster token generation make it an essential part of LAMA's design. With additional optimizations like grouped multi-query attention and rotary positional embeddings, LAMA is able to balance both performance and efficiency very effectively. Now let's explore how LAMA models efficiently handle input sequences of varying lengths, using a range of techniques to make sure they can process everything from short prompts to long documents. The first, positional encoding. LAMA uses rotary positional embeddings, ROPE, instead of the traditional sinusoidal positional encodings. This approach allows LAMA to better generalize to longer sequences, even if it's been trained on shorter contexts. ROPE provides a more flexible way to capture positional information, especially when working with longer sequences that go beyond the model's original training length. ROPE enables LAMA to adjust its attention mechanism based on the relative distances between tokens. This dynamic adjustment reduces the computational cost of processing long sequences, making it much more efficient. The second, dynamic context handling. When a sequence exceeds the model's maximum context length, LAMA uses strategies like 1. Context window segmentation. 
The input is split into smaller chunks that fit within the context window, and each chunk is processed individually. 2. Sliding window approach. The context window is moved across the sequence incrementally to handle longer inputs step by step. 3. Parallel context windows. Long inputs are divided into segments and attention is applied separately within each window. Positional encoding is redeployed across these segments to maintain context. This allows for better handling of extremely long sequences by focusing attention within each segment. The third. Attention mechanisms. Llama has several optimizations in how it handles attention, which is crucial for long sequences. 1. Key value cache. Llama also implements a key value cache to speed up inference. Only the key and value vectors are cached. The query vector is updated with each new token. By caching the keys and values, Llama avoids recalculating them for every token, reducing redundancy and speeding up inference, particularly for longer sequences. 2. Grouped Query Attention, GQA. In this approach, queries are grouped together, and each group shares a single set of keys and values. This method strikes a balance between efficiency and quality, which is especially important when working with long sequences. The fourth. Sequence Parallelism To fine-tune on very long sequences, Llama introduces sequence parallelism. In this approach, a single long sequence is split across multiple GPUs. This distributes the memory load and reduces the GPU memory footprint, allowing the model to handle much larger sequences during training without running into memory issues. In summary, Llama is designed to be flexible and efficient adapting its processing depending on the sequence length and available computational resources, which makes it effective across a wide variety of natural language processing tasks. Now let's take a look at Grouped Query Attention, GQA, and its impact on KV cache efficiency in LLAMA models. This technique is a powerful optimization that reduces memory usage while maintaining model performance. Here's how it works. The first, memory reduction. GQA reduces the size of the KV cache by grouping multiple query heads to share a single key value pair. This is different from the standard multi head attention mechanism, where each query head has its own key and value heads. In standard multi head attention, each query head has its own key and value pair, which can lead to significant memory usage. Then, in grouped query attention, multiple query heads are grouped together and they share a single key value pair. This reduces the total number of key value heads. For example, in Llama 70B, there are 64 query heads, but only eight key value heads, resulting in an eight times reduction in KV cache size. This reduction helps to optimize memory usage and make the model more efficient. The second, performance balance. GQA strikes a balance between efficiency and model quality. In multi-query attention, MQA, uses a single key value head for all queries, which maximizes efficiency but can sometimes degrade performance because the model may lose some attention detail. In grouped query attention, on the other hand, offers a middle ground. It provides efficiency similar to MQA while maintaining performance close to that of standard multi-head attention. This makes GQA a great option for achieving high efficiency without a significant loss in the quality of generated text. The third, inference speed. A smaller KV cache means that there is less memory bandwidth required during autoregressive decoding. This leads to faster inference because the model needs to access fewer key value pairs from the cache. This results in faster token generation, especially for longer sequences. Since GQA reduces the KV cache size, it allows the model to process tokens faster, improving overall performance. The fourth, flexibility. GQA is flexible and can be adjusted to fit the needs of specific applications. The number of groups in GQA can be fine-tuned to find the best trade-off between efficiency and performance. For example, using up to eight groups in GQA results in only modest slowdowns compared to MQA, offering a good balance between speed and model accuracy. This flexibility is useful for optimizing models, depending on the specific hardware or memory constraints. The fifth, implementation. 
In practice, GQA is implemented by dividing queries into groups where each group shares a single key value head, reusing key value pairs within groups for computational efficiency. This way, the model reduces the number of key value operations and the size of the KV cache while maintaining performance. In summary, grouped query attention, GQA, is a highly effective optimization for LAMA models. By reducing the size of the KV cache, it lowers memory requirements, speeds up inference, and maintains model quality. This makes GQA a crucial technique for enhancing the performance of large language models, especially on memory-constrained devices or for faster text generation.